And I'm not going to be saying. And I just want to say a few things about Brandon because uh, most people see his name when that happened. I mean, he was just in a headline in the newspaper. A boy from Oklahoma was shot and killed last night, you know, but they don't know anything about him. No, they don't know anything about my son. Great in school, he played baseball. He's a pitcher, awesome girl teacher. To a uh, high school, he loved baseball. He played football. He's a weightlifter. And nobody knows any of this stuff about him, you know, the jury doesn't know about him. <laughs> All they know is um, he got shot and killed on October 20th, 2015. That's all they know about him. But, and uh, he was real smart. Uh, he was celebrating of his uh, graduating class when we woke in high school. He went to Summer State College two years, graduate honors from there. He had a, a full scholarship to Oklahoma State University. He wanted to be a doctor. He made so many good friends up here. If anybody ever talked to you about him, his co-workers, his friends, the people he met up here, everybody had a good thing to say about him, you know, about his work. He had um, new people come to work for him, and he'd be the first one to come up to him. Talk to him, you know, and make him feel comfortable. You know, that's how he was up here. How can you pay for taking someone's life, you know? In Oklahoma City, you got death penalty up there. You kill somebody, you get killed up there, you know? And that's the way it is, but here it's not that way. And uh, how do you pay someone to take their life? My son, he's three years old. He got deprived of having a family, a meeting girl, getting married, having kids. Raising their kids, teaching their kids to play sports. Um, how can you take that away, I mean, away from him, you know? Uh, how to have grandkids, I gotta do right now. Grandkids, go old. You know, just enjoy life. I mean, right now, this is him right now. He's a, he's a, he's a, this is his uh, cemetery plot, one of the cemetery. This is what he is right now. His body is six feet below the ground right now. He won't never get up, wake up in the morning time. He won't never get up his whole life. He won't never get to have a family. <laughs> he won't never get to see him, talk to him, laugh with him again on this time. He gets to wake up every morning. He gets to see the sunrise. He gets to eat in the morning time, lunch time, supper time. He gets to talk to people in prison. He gets to visit his family. If he's got kids, he's going to uh, have contact with them. His life goes on. Even when he's in prison, he just lives. He gets to enjoy things. You know he knows people in prison. He makes friends up there. He gets to joke around with them. He probably joke around about my son up there. I don't know what they talk about, but he still has a life in prison. And my son don't. He doesn't have a life. I mean, he's, he's gone forever. You know, except normally, this is all we have of him.